still loving you. Oh, what's good, guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagan, your rock and roll photographer. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Nikon D5. What an amazing, phenomenal DSLR this model really, really is. I mean, just, just look at this thing, you know. Oh, God, the shutter sound. Look how fast this camera is. This camera has treated me very well ever since I bought it used from a le legendary photographer. I went gear hunting. I found a D5 for a ridiculous price great condition. It's a great camera. And I'm going to explain to you why this camera is just so amazing for my photography needs, even in 2024. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I still use DSLR in 2024. I still shoot with the Nikon D5. Why do I do this? It's not that I don't have mirrorless cameras. I do. I'm shooting with the Nikon Z6 as we speak in this video. And I also have a Z9. I have a couple of Z6s actually. I will be buying the ZF and the Z6 III when it comes out. I like to think of the D5 as an oldie but goodie, not that old, but a great camera in modern tech sense. What I mean is the megapixel, the sensor, the low light performance, the ISO, the native ISO 100 ISO or ISO, whatever you want to call it to 100 and 2000 what is it 100 and 2000 let me check let me see oh man i love it i love it you know why i love this thing 100 and 2400 native iso before you start getting into the high one and high twos with the nikon d5 and you know what else i love about the nikon d5 the feel of the camera I love. I love holding it. I love holding this camera. It feels a lot better in the hand than the Nikon D4. The other thing I really love that they did on this camera that they didn't have on the D4, the ISO button right here. The ISO button location. God, you, when you're shooting, you don't have to, you know, before the D4, the ISO button was here. But now it's right by the shutter button. All you got to do is just press this button and I'm changing ISO. Uh, I'm the kind of photographer where I like to have total control of my camera. I don't use auto ISO hardly ever. I like to have total control. I'm an old school photographer, guys. I still shoot uh, single AF when I ever, you know, 80, 90 percent of the time, single AF. And it works for me for wedding photography, for portraits. Uh, another thing I love about the D5 is the focus points. It's got a lot of focus points, many more than the D4. And they're illuminated brighter. And I love that. I love that about this camera. I'm in love with the Nikon D5. I've never owned the D6. I don't feel like I have to own the D6. Maybe in the future, if I find something in mint condition, maybe sealed, where I can just buy a D6 and just hold on to it forever. Because you know what? There was a report that they're not making these cameras anymore. They're not making lenses anymore. They're not making F-mount. I don't know how true that is. But I think that Nikon stopped making F-mount lenses and DSLR. So whatever you can get your hands on. Shh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever you can get your hands on in good condition, if I find a D6 mint sealed in great condition for a good price, I'll probably grab that thing and my D DSLR collection is complete. I got the D2H. I, I never owned the D1s, but I got the D2H. I got the D3X now, the D4, and now the D5. And I still have all those cameras. But... This is the DSLR that I use the most. Like I said, I like to think of this camera as an oldie slash with new tech. You know, the LED, the screen in the back here. I love the fact that you can scroll the images. You could zoom in and pinch uh, the images right on the screen here in the back 
back panel. And I don't have a problem with heavy cameras. 70s, 80s, 90s, guys would carry around huge, uh, big ass cameras and no one complained. And now people are starting to complain. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, I can't handle this. My arm's about to fall off. Actually, you don't need to do that if you're carrying this thing around. But no, it's not that heavy. Uh, all jokes aside, it's not that heavy. I'm in love with it. And again, just listen to that. Just listen to that shutter. Listen to that feel of this camera. The features of this camera, the menu system. When did this camera come out? And memory serves me correctly, 2016, right? So, man, I just love this thing. And uh, I continue to use it on my shoots. This thing's in my bag. And I love it. The Nikon D5. Another thing that this camera has that is not mentioned, video. This thing does incredible 4K video. Now, autofocus is an issue, right? I haven't really tested the autofocus video portion of the Nikon D5, but it does 4K 30 video. What we're going to do now, I've never tested autofocus video, but you know me, guys. I like crazy, crazy tests. What I'm also going to do is record video with an old ass lens an autofocus lens but an old ass lens okay we got the d5 here paired with the d5 we got the 180 millimeter af 2.8 lens okay i'm gonna slap this thing on the tripod i'm gonna set it at 4k 30 i'm not changing any settings on the cameras you know i know the settings of the z6 right now i'm recording with the z6 4k 30 but I'll put the identical settings, the identical Kelvin white balance settings as well on the D5. And of course, I'll be backing this thing up big time because it's a 180 millimeter. But I want to see the quality. I want to set it to autofocus. And again, the D5, any Nikon DSLR, except for the 780, I think the D780, they did a good job with the autofocus for video, I think. Never used that camera, but I heard from friends. Um, that that camera is excellent doing video autofocus. But other than that, DSLR Nikon is non-existent when it comes to video AF. But I'm going to try it. We're going to see how bad this thing does with autofocus with an old ass lens. But more importantly, I want to see what the image quality really looks like with the same exact identical settings as that Z6 recording me right now. So why don't we why don't we do that let's slap this thing on the tripod and let's press record all right guys recording video 4k video with the nikon d5 dslr from 2016 in 2024 talking head video this is my first time something crazy this is crazy because i'm not even using an afs lens this is an a 30 year old af lens using autofocus on a dslr this camera is not even meant to be used for this type of application but you know i'm crazy and I'm doing it. So I know the focus is not stable, but it's on autofocus. Surprisingly enough, though, this camera has face detection autofocus. It has AFF. This camera does 4K 30, 25, and 24, but it's at a 1.5 times crop. It's not FX. When you record 1080p, it is full frame, but 4K 30, 25, and 24, it's 1.5 times crop. Again, this, cam this camera came out in 2016 with internal 4K video. So that this is what we're doing. We're recording 4K video. Now again, guys, I know the autofocus is not stable. Uh, DSLRs, uh, Nikon DSLRs are not meant, this camera is not meant to use the, in this type of application. I bought this camera for still photography, which it rocks and it rolls for still photography. But for video, just wanted to see how it would do with an old lens too. So. Hear the lens doing something again it's an older lens i hear the lens doing something back there so again i know the results uh, i just wanted to see the quality of the video with the same settings you know this is a 2.8 lens i was using a 1.2 lens earlier so naturally the z6 was on uh iso 100 iso 100 but since this is a 2.8 lens um at iso 500 just to match the exposure so i didn't want it to be uh underexposed so yeah, this is what it is guys again i wanted to see the quality of this video
All right, guys, back on the Z6 autofocus. It's really a shame that Nikon was behind the curve when it comes to autofocus and DSLRs during this time period. I know Canon was well on its way with the 1DX series of cameras, and those cameras did killer, killer autofocus, and Nikon just couldn't get their act together when it comes to having amazing autofocus video in a DSLR. If I want to do video, I'm going to just pull focus manually. The image quality is more than enough. It's great. The D5 has great image quality when doing video as well. So I love the sensor. I love the low light performance. You saw I was at ISO 640 and it had killer, killer low light performance. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video and if you want more, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to Vahography and share. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagin, your rock and roll photographer. Nikon D5 is a killer camera. Not necessarily for autofocus when doing video. Like I said, I would have loved to have Nikon and the D5 have killer autofocus when doing video. Can you imagine? But it is what it is. We can't go back in time. Oh, well. We'll see you in the next video. Rock and roll.